Ohio Volleyball is closing the chapter on 2015 as we reflect on the Bobcats' 20-plus win season, their ninth Mid-American Conference Tournament crown, and their 10th appearance on the national stage in the NCAA Tournament. I'm here joined with head coach Dean Webb, and coach, your, your second year turned out pretty well, I, I would say. I mean, can you just kind of reflect on this year's season, just how tremendous it was for you and your staff and as your girls as well? Well, it's, it's first for our team. I mean, that's what matters is these young ladies that they're here for four years and they have a chance to do special things. And they have. The seniors that are leaving, they leave with four back rings. They leave having won either a conference regular season or a conference tournament or both in all four of their years. And that's, that's something that not a lot of people get to do at any school. And so we're just very, very proud of them and obviously glad that they got to end their career in the NCAA tournament, playing a great match against a great team. Coach, can you just kind of, you know, going into the future, can you talk about just the legacy that this team leaves, you know, going on into the future? Uh, there are so many players that have come through this program historically uh, that have come before us, that have become before these players that laid foundations and that have built this program, coaches and players, to make it an attractive place for the players that are seniors now. It was attractive for them to come in the first place. And and they have helped make this an attractive program for people to come in the future. You know, it's one of the things we talked about in the locker room Friday night. You know, we were on national TV. We lost to a, a great BYU team that's now in the Sweet 16. Played them incredibly close on their home court. And that's one of the things that I thank the seniors for is ju just wait two, three, four years from now, you'll see a kid from the West Coast that didn't know about us, that wouldn't have had a reason to see us, except they live over there. Oh, BYU, we know them. Let's go, let's watch it. Whoa, that was really good. And, and so that's just, it's a small piece of the legacy, but it continues to grow our brand, Ohio University Volleyball, and our entire team, but particularly the seniors have a, just a great, great legacy that will go on beyond them for many years. And you mentioned your seniors, so can you just kind of just kind of comment on, you know, why, why, why was this team so successful? I mean, was it because of these seniors? Well, they were certainly a big part of it. You know, we have 16 players and everyone contributed. You know, we, we talked about after we won a conference championship right here in this locker room, we talked about thanking the people that didn't get to play as much, thanking the people that are on the non-starter side when we scrimmage a lot of times because we believe that we are, we are limited by the ability of the second side. You know, every the whole chain and a weakest link, that kind of a deal, that everybody on our team contributed to making our team better. Um, if you're a non-starter and you're competing against the starters, you're making the starters better, or you're not. And they chose to make the starters better. And so it starts every, just whether you really had those moments where the crowd was cheering for you in those exciting moments, or your work kind of went unnoticed for the general public, we know it. We know it as coaches, we know it as teammates, and all the way up through the program, kids that, that play a little bit here and there, all the way up to kids that receive these accolades and these awards that, that they deserve, conference players of the year and all conference players and defensive player of the year and all these things and records that are broken, everyone contributed. But certainly these seniors, uh, they led they led on the court, they led off the court. I'm very proud of all of them. And Coach, I mean, what can we expect moving forward into 2016 from your, from your Cats? Well, it, it'll look different, you know, and that's the case every year. You know, we, a year ago when we lost a four-time first-team All-Mac, six-rotation outside hitter who was our best passer, who was one of our best defenders, who received way more swings than anybody on our team, that just an all everything kid, it, we knew it was gonna be a big struggle losing her. And it had to look different this year. We had to be a little more balanced. We had to find ways to have other people pass a few more balls. Um, and over the course of the year, we found a different identity. That was very good as well, it was just different. And next year in the same way, it will be different. You know, we will find a way to be successful. We believe we have the players that can do it. You look at the success even against BYU. I mean, look at the success that two of our returning players, Mal and Jamie, had against one of the best blocking teams in the country, one of the best defensive teams in the country. Mal has 21 kills. Jamie has 15 kills, hits almost 500 on the outside. Allie hits about 500 for the night. So 
we, we know we're losing a great deal. I mean, we would be silly not to recognize that, but we believe we have a great deal coming back. And we have great belief in the kids we have coming in for this next year as well. And so it's, it's a fine line. You know, we, we respect all those that have been here before us, that are here currently, that are about to leave all these different steps, but we're always excited about the future. And it's an attractive place to, to come and play. And we have some great players coming in to continue these, these legacies. All right, Coach, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it as always. You. You know, it, was, it was awesome to be a part of this year. Uh, so thank you so much for including me as well. So for the second year head coach, Dean Webb, my name is Jay Cremata. This is Bobcat TV.